Good morning. It's a bright and sunny morning as well after all of these storms. And it's absolutely gorgeous this morning. Just set off at seven o'clock and it's Thursday the 20th of June. I've got a little problem with my camera actually. I can't kind of turn the viewfinder around so that I can actually see whether this is on my face properly. And I've got a spare camera with me and that's doing exactly the same this morning. So out of the four cameras I've got, They've all got a similar complaint now, which is wear and tear. I think I might have had this um, viewfinder open and closed so many times. Uh, for all of them, really. I think it's just... They've got a bit worn out, really. Still work perfectly OK, but there's certain things that you can't do. Anyway, not to worry. I'm on a long stretch of road here. This is going to be a, a 16 miles walk. There's one or two cars around, but not too many. It's nothing like Essex at this time in the morning. Anyway, let's put it that way. And my intention is to walk all the way to Alborough, which is about five to six hours. It's around about 16 miles. I would think all of it's going to be on the road. I'm not going to see anything of the sea today until I get to Alborough, which is where I was and enjoy those wonderful fish and chips with my friend Peter. Peter called me last night actually, we had a lovely conversation and I spoke to his wife Margaret and we had a good laugh, it was really, really good humoured conversation and Margaret, I've never, never well I, I don't, to be honest, I don't ever remember seeing her when I was in Southport, I certainly haven't spoken to her but it's, what a lovely woman, she, it, was, it was very nice. And uh, I've spent two days in the caravan, sorry, the camper van. And uh, that's because I had a bit of a, what I thought was a groin strain. And the more I think about it, it's more like a, a vein in my leg, which runs from my groin to my knee. And I put some of that cream on that the doctor gave me uh, to treat my ankle and it seems to have brought me back to life it's quite amazing really this, this cream is incredible stuff it's like a gel and it's uh, it seems to have had a, an instant effect and I'm walking perfectly normal I was walking perfectly normal yesterday as well but it was just the weather forecast was for rain all day well it didn't happen and I could have walked yesterday but I couldn't have gone a third day, to be honest, like sitting in the van. I, again, I've been quite inundated with uh, new friend requests and lo lots of people coming to me now on uh, to try and raise my numbers on the um, subscriptions on YouTube. I've got some figures here while I'm walking along where, there's, where it's nice and quiet. Uh, just bear with me while I just tell you the latest score. Right, here we are. Well, two things actually. The film that I put on the other day with Peter, the last film I put on, where we went off to the seaside and had the breakfast and went and saw that wonderful house, if you remember. Sorry, the wonderful hotel in Felixstowe. Um, it's broken a record because it's the first time ever I've had over 300 likes, uh, sorry, views in 24 hours. I had 317 views in 24 hours, which is the most I've ever had. So I'm quite pleased about that. And my subscriptions this morning, just before I left, 728, which still means I need, well, over 250. I need, well, to be precise, I need... Uh, 272 so I'm gonna have to bang on about this I'm afraid because I'll tell you the situation and this is honestly as I understand it I got a message from YouTube not long ago saying that my site was one of several that are probably earmarked for deleting purely because I haven't got a thousand subscribers 
So I've got until the 22nd of July to get to a thousand subscribers. Now, um, the work that Bri did for me to pass it on to his people um, and several other people have, have made an effort but I'll be dead honest with you, not enough people have made it enough effort and I, I'm, please don't misunderstand me. I want you to take this seriously because if I don't get to a thousand subscriptions by the 22nd of July, my site will be closed. So if you want to just let, watch me disappear, then do nothing. But if you really want to help me, please can you take this very seriously, otherwise I'll stop the walk at Grimsby on the 14th of July and I won't be carrying on unless I've got a YouTube site and that's the condition and there's nothing I can do about it other than ask you people to please take me seriously and help me. Thank you. And, and that would that's the only way I'm going to survive this. And all of this effort and all of these, all this planning and all the rest of it will just go down the drain. So that's, that's the black and white honest situation. And uh, I've got, I don't know, 700 people on the gym's coastal path walk. I've got 400 friends on my timeline. So that's 1100. Then there's, I've got loads of people who are followers about, I don't know how many people, about 500. I've got all these people and yet I'm struggling with this and I do these films too for you. You enjoy them, you obviously like them, doing all right with it, but I'm struggling and I need some help. So please, please, so please, all I need you to do is if you're on YouTube and you're watching me at this minute, then please don't forget to subscribe at the end and then all our problems are over. If you think about it, I had 318 views in 24 hours. If every single person of, of that people who watched in that 24 hours subscribed, I wouldn't be having this conversation. And so it is vitally important. And it's, it's one of the other worries that I've got about one or two things, uh, including my wife. And, and I don't want to be walking along now thinking, well, this is all going to finish on the 22nd of July. I don't want that. I, I want to be crossing the line as soon as I can so I can get it off my mind. And th there's no other way of me doing this than actually appealing to you. And yeah, th th there was a, a little surge initially for the first few days, but it's just petered out. All of a sudden it's finished and, and I need I need you to help me for my survival and for me to want to continue to do the walk because as I, as I say without a YouTube channel and filming all of this and, and the whole story and I've still got 1500 miles to go you're not going to see me again so if you don't help me don't wonder where I've gone on the 22nd of July and, and that's it and, and that is from the heart and that is being absolutely dead honest I'm not being facetious or nasty or shouting or anything like that. I'm just saying, come on, please. You know, that's all you need to do. Click a button saying subscribe. That's all you have to do. It'll take you 10 seconds. Otherwise, I'm out of business. Finish.
So, my plan today is straightforward. I'm just walking from the campsite which I've just left. Fantastic campsite it is as well, lovely people there. And I'm walking all the way through to Aldborough, which is where you saw Peter and I eating those lovely fish and chips. And I'm hoping to do the same today. And I've got one or two people that I said I'd call and see when I got back into Aldborough. And uh, then I've got a bit of a problem because it's how I'm going to get back could be a problem. Because I'm, I can get a bus to Woodbridge, but to get a bus back to Hollersley, um, you, they have a community bus. And yesterday I, I had a walk down to the shop, I needed some supplies. And I called in for a pint at the pub and was speaking to the, the barmaid, a lovely girl called Helen, who gave me all the information that I need to be able to try and book the community bus, which you need to give 24 hours notice to. Well, I'd missed that, I'd gone past the deadline. And uh, to tell you the kind of people that I come across, and th this won't be the first like this she said well and she joined me on she she not she didn't subscribe she joined me on on facebook but she says well if you get in a jam she says that would bridge don't worry just give me a call and i'll come and pick you up and i thought that's absolutely wonderful what a lovely gesture and i've also got the number of the pub so i can give them a ring if there's if that's the case and and if 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 it comes to it all i'll do is get a taxi I don't, I don't spend much money on taxis, um, I haven't done throughout this trip, I think I've caught a taxi on maybe three or four occasions out of 400 and something days, so that's not bad. And we're not talking about a great distance, it'd only probably cost about a tenner, maybe 20 quid at the very most, so I'm not going to get stranded or anything like that, but um, you know, we'll just see how it goes. I've got a lovely day ahead of me. I know it's only early, I know there's not much traffic uh, and I've got quite a bit of road walking to do but uh, I'm looking forward to this, it's nice to be back on the road again and uh, I'll be editing this tonight and then I'll be moving up to Alborough tomorrow with the intention of walking to Southwold which will be a, a nice place to get to and, uh, and I'm going to have a busy weekend walking to make up for the time that I've lost this week. So, I hope this picture's come out all right. I'm just guessing that this camera's actually, you know, got a good, ang a good angle. I hope it's not looking straight up my nose, but uh, I, think, I think I've got there with it. And uh, I'll have to repair it when I get back to the van later. So, here we go. <laughs>
it's a pity I couldn't transmit the smell to you. It's so strong of all these nettles and plants. It's incredible. It's like smelling paint. It's that kind of pungent. It's amazing. Just absolutely freshly cut. Just to tell you as well that I had a surprise telephone call last night from my good friend Bry. It was great to actually talk to him, and we've only been sort of we've only known each other, you know, known to each other for probably the last two or three weeks, and uh, we had a lovely telephone conversation. What a lovely bloke he is, and. Uh, we're talking about maybe getting together in, in the not too distant future to sort of chew the fat over a coffee somewhere and you know we're just talking about that where I don't know you know when or where yet but you know it was great to actually talk to the great man it was lovely and we've got a little bit more in common than you think I mean we're both sort of musicians and I asked him to look up some stuff because he's got He's got a site called Purple Haze, which today, as you know, he's got his um, 20th. He always sort of uh, makes an effort, uh, and he's going to make an effort in, in selling a picture on behalf of me and, and, and Trish. Um, and the proceeds are going to go to the Cancer Research Fund, which, uh, again, is a, is a great gesture. But I asked him if he would... Uh, have a look at my days with the band Purple Haze in Bulgaria, which he did do, and he, he, his little comment at the end of it was, love it, and it was three of his favourite songs, Foxy Lady, 
which was one of them, the first one. Um, a little Wing and then Voodoo Child, which we played live at a big concert in Sofia. And I'm very pleased that he liked it. It was, it was a great concert that, I really enjoyed it. So I'm doing all right. I'm going to show you a few shots of the fields and everything. There's not a breath of wind. The, the trees are absolutely dead still. You could hear a pin drop out here. And it's lovely to be walking and heading for the seaside. now and I've met this lovely guy called Caelan and uh, he's from Wales and he's working here at this farm so wh what kind of work do you do here then Caelan? I'm an agricultural contractor yes bit of everything all vegetable grown here yes we've got about three and a half thousand acres wow and it's pretty much work 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 <laughs> I'll bet it is I mean obviously a seasonal job you know you, you're here to earn some money I guess exactly yeah started here in March 27th yes and I'll be leaving here about end of September when the season finishes oh that's, that's great now whereabouts are you from in, in Wales uh, Midwest well more north northwest really up in the hills over the sheep and windmills yes and uh, yes yeah, it's, it's beautiful scenery and Anybody who gets to walk it, definitely walk it. Well, yes, I mean, I've experienced that. I mean, I, I think I, I, I told you I did the Pembrokeshire Coastal Path, which is exceptionally beautiful, and, and the people of Wales are extremely friendly, every one of them, including yourself. <laughs> and thank you for the donation to, the, to, to the Cancer Research Fund. Always support cancer when I can. Well, yes, and, and that's very nice of you, and it's, and it's close to my heart, obviously, because my wife's been affected by it. But um, it's been a real pleasure meeting you. I, I was saying to you, I, I can't remember the name of the place where I went to, where I had to walk right up the river to actually to Carmarthen. And I was staying at Gowerton, but my memory for names has gone completely. It goes in one ear and out of the other. <laughs> but it's been a real pleasure to meet you, and, and thank you very much indeed. You're, Not a, problem. you're a lovely Bless guy. You. Cheers, Safe mate. Safe walking. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye now.
It's just after 12 o'clock now and uh, I'm stepping it out quite well actually. I'm uh, finding it quite easy. I'm not having any problem with the legs. The roads are much better. Uh, there's nowhere near as much traffic as there was in Essex and they're very polite drivers and the wave at you and stuff like that. It's a completely different atmosphere. I'm about probably uh, a mile and a half, that's about half an hour away from Snape, which I'm looking forward to going to. When uh, Peter and I went out for a ride the other day, we went up through Snape and uh, they've got a mill there and all that kind of stuff and some shops and things and it looks quite an attractive kind of place. And uh, you must have heard me say this hundreds of times, I'm gagging for a cup of tea. There's been nowhere to get a drink at all. I, I did stop at a farmhouse as you saw and got my water refreshed and spoke to a very nice Welsh guy and I'm using a, a pallet at the moment as a seat. It's better than nothing, better than sitting on the grass anyway. And then it's going to be quite a long walk from Snape all the way through to Alborough. And uh, But I'm not worried about that, I'm doing well, making good progress and um, I'll see you when I get to Snape.
Well, I bumped into Gary and Kay, and Kay is not likely to say much because she's a little bit camera shy. So, so please, you know, please don't worry about that. So, Gary, you, you're both like avid bird watchers. Though. They've been doing this for a long time, uh, many years. About ten years now. Yeah, about right. ten years. Seriously. Yes. Right. Yeah. So I guess that this this particular area is a good one then for you. Uh, Suffolk, Suffolk, and we're going on to Norfolk next week. Are, yes. are, are lovely, yes, especially yeah. at this time of year. Yes. So what what would you expect to find in this particular wood then? Well, we've done about thirty odd species through not just the wood, yes. but uh, out on the heath and then down into the estuary and yes. then into the reed beds. So uh, it's, it's a it's a multi habitat walk. This one, lovely. Right. Because yeah. I mean, I do. I mean, I, I, I don't. I don't pretend at all to be a, 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 a like a, an avid bird watcher but I've got a massive interest in it I was mm. telling you that I used to live in Sofia and you could get the birds to feed mm. off your hand yeah. and you rather surprised me to say that you, you can do that in Scotland you can so do well, that you can do, uh, I, the only one I've seen uh, I've, I've seen people do robins but the only one I've seen on mass is sort of chaffinches in, in Scotland yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the, in some of the forests up there they, I've seen there's so many of them that they get people friendly yeah yeah I mean they're cheeky little things aren't they yeah. that's what I like I think I think great tits are probably my, my favourite bird because they are really sort of uh, you know the, the, the uh, really mobile and the, you know yeah. the, the, the lovely I love them yeah. rather common <laughs> well yes, uh, yes but, yeah, but nevertheless lovely, you know yeah. they just seem yeah. to have a, a kind of a, a cheeky mm. personality don't mm. they they're just really bold mm. you know that's what mm. I find but with jays I particularly like jays I think jays very intelligent yeah. birds yes yeah. Yeah. we've seen we saw a jay didn't we yeah yeah, yeah. Walk, yeah. 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 I yeah. saw several of them in Kent when I was mm. in um I don't just think Margate right. in between between mm. on on the you know you've been to Kent mm. around around mm. the edge there between mm. sort of Margate and Ramsgate mm. and uh, th th I saw several and and uh, you know mm. it's lovely to see them I haven't seen them for for mm. years you know it was really nice uh, good bird so do you live locally we live in a place called uh, Gampton in South Devon. Right. Okay. So, so we were talking. Near, it's Dartmouth. Near Dartmouth. Uh, oh, it's River Dart. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I remember yeah. the crossing from one side to the other. It was there was a really efficient kind of ferry at <laughs> that time. That's right. Yes. Yeah. That's and right. And all was, and all winter as well, which yes. is nice, all year round. But the talking point there is that many of the houses are taken by uh, second homes. Because um, I went to Salcombe and I think about 80%, yeah. it's got to about 80% now. Yeah, Salcombe's yeah. strictly bad. Uh, I think Kingswear is... Yes. It's going in that direction, Dartmouth. Yeah. Yes. Paul Perro was like that as well. Mm. And, uh, but it's a shame, really. But then again, I mean, the people who, you know, the people have a choice whether they sell the houses or not, <laughs> and all the rest right. of it. Yeah. But I remember going into the co op in, in um, Salcombe and, I, and mm. I said to them, Are you closing down? Because they had hardly, hardly any stock on the shelves. And they said, mm. No, this is our winter stock. Winter. There's only 20% mm. of the population left, and, and there's only two mm. pubs, yeah. and, and the community is just like falling apart yeah. isn't it it's sad yeah. isn't it really not quite the same on our side of the uh yeah. oh, that's on our side of devon we're yeah. part of tor bay so it's a little bit more yes I, yeah, yeah i agree with mm. you it, it, it was like that mm. well look it's been lovely meeting you i know you're shy okay but let me just let me just finish off by saying goodbye to you <laughs> okay. th thanks <laughs> thank, thank you thank you very much nice to meet yeah, you yeah very nice to yeah. meet nice you to good luck with the rest of you good luck thank you very much thank you yes that's lovely thank you thank you okay thank you bye-bye now bye-bye you take care Jake and I, I'm walking in one direction and he's walking in the other and uh, he's, he's got quite a big backpack on there with it's full of stuff. I, so how, how much does that weigh Jake? About 40 kg. 
40kg. 40k? Yeah. Blimey, that's, that's, what have you got in there? That's I've got my tent. All um, ah, right. Um, just trying it out. So. That, that's a good idea. So, so are you going far then? Uh, I go up 10 more miles that way. I've just come from Albra. Yes. Do you live in Albra? Yeah, yeah. What a lovely place. Fantastic fish shop. <laughs> there's two of them. Yes, I know. And they're owned by, by the same people yes, apparently. Yeah, but the, the, same little pub, the little pub was lovely as well, next to, next to the far one. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the fish and chips were, were quite immense. It was, a, and, and the price was really good. It was a really large haddock and chips and mushy peas for six quid. Yeah, which it's not was, bad. It's, it's brilliant. That's that's like like Grimsby prices, to be honest <laughs> with you. Well, if you go to the um, chip shop, then you can eat them, pu eat them in the pub. So. Oh, they allow you to do that. Yeah, they do. Oh, well, that's that's very good. So, are, are you into walking in a big way then, or uh, have you been doing it long? Uh, just started actually this summer, so. Ah, oh, right. So not long, but hoping yeah. to keep it going. Yeah, well, that's great. I mean, you've got you, you know, it's a nice surrounding area, Suffolk, isn't it? It's, pretty, it's certainly a lot quieter than yeah. Essex was. A lot of green. There is yeah. a lot of green. That, that's it. That's true. Yeah. Well, great. Well, I wish you every success, mate. Now, and you know, have, yeah. have you have you you've got everything? Is it all new stuff you have got in there? Then, so you. I've tried it out a few times. Oh well. Yeah. Oh well, the best of luck, and yeah. it's very nice to see a fit young lad like you on the coastal path. And <laughs> it's a lovely surprise to meet younger people. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to encourage all of these people in the mid 60s who were just retiring to actually get some walking done. But you know, no, you don't I'm, see many. I'm trying young, to keep it going. You don't see many people, young, younger people like such. As, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you now? Then uh, about 23. 23. Well, that's brilliant. Well done, mate. Yeah, and nice, good luck with your. Nice to meet you, Jake. Lovely. Good luck with your walking. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Cheers now. Cheers. Bye. Thank you.
barriers of uh, the rock barracks. Right. So towards the left. So I've just dropped in at the Shepherd and Dog as I, was, as I was walking in, having done this walk today to Alborough and I've just had one pint and I'm off back to the van now and to do some editing and all the usual things and I've, this is Sam who, who's a very informative young lady who my daughter's called Sam so there's a connection and uh, so Sam you say where I should park tomorrow in Albra. In Albra, so um, uh, it's called Demon Yachts, it's uh, the Albra Boatyard um, and it's just down towards the Yacht Club um, and yes, yeah, so if you can park there for the night. Well yes, that's that's lovely and because I'll only be staying for one night, you know, yeah. what, what I tend to do is is book a site, well not book a site, I find a site for two or three days because you need a shower, you need to wash your clothes and tidy up and all that, but then I do a bit of wild camping, you can't afford to, to, to spend 25 quid a night no. on camping when you're no. doing you know I'm 450 odd days into this walk if I was to spend that kind of money can you imagine how much that would be so you've got you've got to look after your money but your advice has been wonderful and, and it's funny I was in here yesterday talking to Helen who was a very lovely helpful barmaid and you've been just the same Sam it's been a pleasure to meet you and you you've best got, of luck you've got a card yes and, and uh, uh, I mean I might stay the extra day I've, I've had a bit of a, a, a groin strain and I've just got to see how I feel in the morning mm -hmm. and and then I'll make a decision what I'm gonna do I've got loads of paperwork to do because um, when I get to Grimsby, the Grimsby, the Grimsby Telegraph, which is the local paper, is making quite a big issue of it and, mm -hmm. and, and also the cancer research. And, and yeah. I've got lots of paperwork to do with filling forms in and things for permission to carry buckets for collections and, oh, and, right, and, yeah. and to, to have it where the, the, if there's going to be more than 50 people, you, it's got to be legally binding where, where it, it doesn't encroach on, you know, it, there's all sorts of stuff telly. in the background that people don't realise it's not just a case of let's go for a walk you know mm, yeah. and uh, but it's been been lovely to meet you yeah. and you you're a and lovely you. you're a lovely woman and, and thank well you. done good on you for doing what you're doing thank you very much yeah. it's been brilliant. lovely thank brilliant. you Bye. all right best of luck cheers lovely to meet you bye now bye.